chance of getting a good recording on this. We're gonna, I, I think I troubleshot this good enough now. So, we've got a little old school NES Ninja Gaiden. This is what the Xbox One's continued from. Pretty badass stuff. Uh, they're saying that, you know, they, on the Xbox version, Because these ones were insanely hard too. So I've been playing this one since I was a little kid, so I got most of it fairly good, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, it's not laggy anymore. Huzzah! Jump and slash, man, I tell you. It's like the single most powerful and important ninfo in the entire fucking game. And as you'll see here in a little bit, oh, fuck, as you'll see in a little bit, oh shit, there are sections when that jump and slash is fucking life or death necessary. Eh, nice little side effect to it in one shot. Pretty much any boss in the game, no matter what it is. Except for like the final boss. Terror Mr. Ryu Hayabusa was in the squid's wheel of death. Jump and slash is just hit B while you're in the air. But to get the regular slash, you have to actually hold down on the D pad to fucking get the regular slash. But the, get off the. You suck. That little fucker that I just killed is a big part of the reason that. Jump and slash. This is one of those levels where jump and slash is goddamn near necessary. Well, this is kind of lagging right now, but it's not too bad.
I'm still lagging. You hit me twice! You fucker! Skipping scut. Yeah, skipping cut seeds. There we go. So stage three is pretty much the only one in the game who does not have fuck you bird. The only stage in the entire game that does not have any jumping slides whatsoever. So instead, oh. you want the fire wheels. He's the boss of this level. Just jumps all over the fuck you birds. I hate the birds. You got all these other assholes running around. Shooting guns at you, swinging machete, and shit like that. And they only take one bar of your health. The fucking birds will take three. They are douche bombs. I don't know why they even put that guy right there, because everything he throws goes off the top of the screen immediately. Jumpy McJumpersons. Oh, I missed. Twice. Three times. That fairly sucked. Not nearly as bad as stage six. Or world six or whatever the fuck. That cutscene is let that entire cutscene go, we're talking about 12 to 15 minutes of cinematic alone. See that? Two hits. My mom already, already damn near half dead. Keybird. Oh, dick.
scene go. This is like badassery. I may possibly be wrong about this, but I believe Ninja Gaiden was the first game ever to actually use like in between level cutscene and uh, cinematics to kind of tell the story. Five continues. What the fuck that dude was like inside that shit? 
That dude takes at least two off, I think. I and he takes two That little fucker takes two hits to kill. Two or three. Jump and slash, baby. Alright, you know what? I'm doing something. Such a cheat right here. Safe state. <laughs> I know, cheater me too. Fuck you, dick munchies. Yeah. 
Spoilers. <laughs> okay. This is like the final chunk of stages in the game. You fuck you. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you to the balls. Super dead. If you get the rhythm right in these stages, shit goes way cleaner, way easier. Dash two. Google that shit. Ninja Gaiden NES 6-2. It's like regarded as one of the most difficult stages on the NES. Anywhere. Not be wasting jumping slashes. Get up. Another one of those sections where that jump slash is absolutely fucking necessary. I think the screen after this one is another one. No! Fuck. 
Well, you're about to see why it's necessary. Because I am gonna die. Oh, now I'm really gonna die. Yep, here we go. We're gonna die a lot. Put the respawn point of those fucking birds like right in the absolute worst spot. I think video game levels back in the day, at least the ones in tech were fucking sadists. See what I'm saying? <coughs> at least now I get a chance to get jump and slash back, although my ninja. Although I think there is some video game designers out there back in the day that were more, more sadistic than the guys at Tecmo with this. And that's the cats that did the shit from uh, speeder bike levels and battle toads. I still haven't passed that. I'm 37 years old. Fuck. Fuck you. Definitely not fucking with that one. Okay. Now I've got jump and slash going into this. I should be okay. Now you can see what the difference maker is. <laughs> Sucky balls. No! <laughs> Fuck. Oh. oh god! Swarm! Fuck!
Let's see if I can get through it this time. Nope. So that's two bars of health and I started getting super fucking nervous. Okay, scroll your little ass off the screen. Go, just go! You know what? 
I am so putting on a safe state right here because if you get a game over at this point, you're going all the way fucking back to the game. into the Jikaio fight with no Ninho whatsoever, but I do get full health. See it happening. Not with that much life left. See, told you.
Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, last boss, here we go. Ryu. For those of you that have played the uh, 360 Ninja Gaiden 2, this is the Arch Fiend, dude. Just whooped my ass. And there we go. That's the end of the game. Now, for all those times that I use the save dates to go back. Oh my god. Just think that each one of those times I use the save state, that's probably adding on about another 10 minutes of gameplay. So, right now, what's showing up is at about 43 minutes of gameplay. At this point, would be like at least an hour and a half. <laughs> so let's double what we've got right now. Just on those last couple of stages. Pure fucking evil. You know, for being the first game to ever use cutscene cinematics, Ninja Gaiden did a really good job of telling a pretty fucking compelling story. I was impressed. Although the special effects, oh my god, the special effects. <laughs> And this whole thing, the cast is crumbling down. It became like a trope for all the Ninja Gaiden games. I'm really shocked they didn't use it in the uh, Xbox One. Because I played through all three of those as well. And for those of you that have played through the Xbox Ninja Gaidens, that chick right there, Irene, is known as Sonya. Sea Swallow. If you play through Ninja Gaiden 3, you'll see that show up. That's a reference to this. Foster, that's a little fuck boy. And just think, back in the days of the NES, showing kissing like that in a video game, that was a big deal. Like, you see what GTA 5 does now, and it's nothing. I mean, but it was kind of the same social equivalent. Yeah, there it is. That's Ninja Gaiden. If there's any other games 
that you want me to play on here, if you want me to check out on the old school NES, just hit me up, let me know in the comments. Uh, I've got a decent amount of games, but if I don't have it, I can probably get it. I probably. Um, although I've got another idea for one. I probably couldn't do a single uh, video with the whole playthrough. obscure game. Not too many people know about it. Really fucking good game. Anyway. That's about it for this one. So, let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Zay Bach.